application? Yep. Okay. We are live. All right. Well, welcome, Wisconsin FBLA, and hello. Uh, this is Dave Thomas, and I'm your state advisor for Wisconsin FBLA. Uh, tonight, I'll be serving as your moderator for this webinar. And if you have any questions throughout the webinar, uh, you'll be able to uh, not only view it uh, through YouTube, uh, but you can certainly feel free to submit your questions by clicking on the question and answer button through the YouTube uh, screen. Uh, please make sure that you let us know your name and your school when asking a question. Uh, it's important because at the end of the presentation, we will have uh, not only some time to go over some of the questions, uh, but if your question is uh, not answered during that time, we will compile uh, a list of unanswered questions and then answer them on a Google Doc uh, that we will post on the Wisconsin FBLA website. Uh, please uh, make sure that you take some time to complete the Google form that will be linked at the end of the webinar. Uh, not only people that ask questions, but also people that uh, uh, in particular answer the, the survey uh, will have an opportunity to uh, win one of four gift cards. And so that's exciting and, and just want to uh, extend our appreciation to the Wisconsin FBLA PBL uh, Foundation who has uh, lended their financial support for those gift cards out to our members. Uh, I will now hand it over to your state officers who are hosting the workshop tonight. Uh, we have Sydney Wilcox and Heidi Krusik that are joining us. And so uh, uh, go ahead, girls, and, and have a, a good time here with our first uh, webinar officially for Wisconsin FBLA. All right. Hello, I am Sydney Wilcox, and I am a senior at Seymour Community High School. And I have the honor of serving as this year's state president. And I am Hanny Krusik, a junior at Wanakee High School, and I am serving as your 2015-2016 Region 5 Vice President. All right, thank you for tuning into the first webinar that Wisconsin FBLA will host. We hope that these webinars will increase the communication between our state officers and our local chapters and members. Today's webinar will be focused on the different positions that members can hold in their local chapter and responsibilities that go along with serving in that position. You can also find this list in the Local Chapter Management Handbook and also the Wisconsin FBLA Competitive Event Guidelines and Advisors Handbook. The second half will be focused on back to school activities to kickstart your local chapter's school year. Sydney will now start off with the first position. Thank you, Hattie. The first position is the president. The duties of the president include preside over all meetings of the chapter, appoint committees and serve as an ex officio member of these committees, and also to promote the growth and development of FBLA. Hattie will now speak about the vice president. The vice president is the next position in succession. Your duties as the vice president of your local FBLA chapter include preside in the absence of the president and to also assist the president. Sydney will now speak about the secretary. The secretary is the third position. The duties of the secretary include keeping an accurate record of the chapter in all executive committee meetings and also submit any required reports to the state chapter and the national center. Patty, can you now talk about the treasurer? The next position that you can hold is the treasurer. The duties of the treasurer include acting as custodian of the funds of the organization, collect dues and give financial reports, and send the membership list with dues to the state and national offices. Sydney will now speak on the fifth position that we will discuss, the reporter. The fifth position in the line of succession is the reporter. Your duties as the reporter for your local chapter include act as a public relations officer for the chapter, see that news stories and photographs are delivered to the school paper, the local newspaper, the news bulletin, and the national FBLA publication Tomorrow's Business Leader, or TBL, and cooperate with school officials concerning assembly, radio, and television programs. 
Now, Hattie will speak about the position of parliamentarian. The last position that we will discuss for tonight is the parliamentarian. Your duties as the parliamentarian of your local chapter include serving in any capacity as directed by the president and advising the president or presiding office officer on points of parliamentary procedure. Sydney will now speak about the office team as a whole. Those are the six standard positions that are recommended to have a successful chapter. Some chapters will have more or less positions depending on the needs of the chapter and the membership count. It is important that all officers facilitate an environment where all members can grow professionally, keep members informed about all organizational activities, include all members in a dynamic program of work and welcome their suggestions, conduct the, the chapter business in proper parliamentary procedure and man maintain complete current records and minutes, and encourage individual and chapter participation in regional, state, and national conferences. All right, and well done, ladies. Uh, in our, our first portion of the webinar for tonight uh, is complete. And if we have any questions regarding local chapter officer positions, uh, please feel free to submit them now. Um, not sure how many viewers that we have online, but uh, certainly if you are online, we would welcome those questions. Uh, I would also um, encourage any questions that you don't have at this time if you are uh, viewing this uh, live. Uh, you're welcome to continue watching, and then we will uh, have some question and answer time at the end. Uh, if we do have any um, time available, we will make sure we answer those questions, and if we run out of time, we'll make sure we come back to them uh, through um, our Google Doc that we will have set up online. So I'm going to check with our uh, wonderful facilitator, uh, which is uh, Sydney Wilcox's advisor, uh, Ms. Grassel, to see if you... Uh, have any information to share as a, a, an extra moderator who's on the line with us right now. Thank you, Dave. Um, just going ahead and taking a look, and we've had um, at various points up to eight different viewers going ahead and viewing our webinar tonight, so I think that's a great success for a shout out for Wisconsin FBLA. I don't currently have any questions in the area, but again, when you're going ahead and watching, please note that you can click on that question and answer section, and you can go ahead and submit any questions um, that you would like to our um, state officers today. They can give you information about um, what we've covered so far. If you have other questions, we can certainly take a look at trying to cover that within our broadcast as well. Um, right, so then. no questions yep. are there. So if ladies, if you want to go ahead and proceed with our second topic for tonight, that would be OK. Yeah, I believe Hattie's going to start that uh, with a little information about uh, back to school activities. All right. So the start of the school year is a very important time to recruit new members to your local chapter. One of the best ways to grab the interest of many individuals is by hosting a fun and upbeat activity. One year, my local chapter held a BYORB, so bring your own root beer, event during both lunch hours one day for all freshmen interested in FBLA. It was a fun and easy way for the freshmen to be comfortable and ask questions to the officers. We have also held lunches in the business education classrooms to talk about FBLA for new members. Also, at the first FBLA meeting last year, we used note cards to group students together. We handed the cards out at the doors, and each card had a name on it. All of the names were from pairs of two people. For example, Bonnie and Clyde, Minnie and Mickey, and so on. The students couldn't sit down until they found their partner. This was an easy way to get the members up and moving around and introducing themselves to one another. What has your school done, Sydney? Last year, Seymour FBLA hosted a giant game of Messy Twister. The event was open to all high school students. Our local chapter officers made a giant twister board and received paint donations from our art classes. After school, students headed out to the front lawn and played our giant game of Messy Twister. Not only was it a great way to welcome back students, it was also an amazing way to spread the word about FBLA. Patty, what kind of inf informational activities does Wanakee FBLA do to recruit new members? Last year, a few Wanakee FBLA local officers presented to the incoming freshmen on the freshman first day of school. I was able to speak that day, and I thought it was a huge success because I recognized quite a few faces from that day at the first meeting. This year, my chapter is going to work with DECA more often so more students can become a part of both organizations. 
The first Friday of every new school year, my school holds a club and organization fair to promote all of the activities for new students to be involved with. My chapter is creating a table to inform students about FBLA along with the DACA officers. How about you, Sydney? Every year, Seymour FBLA creates a fun display to show off at freshman orientation. Also at orientation, I gave a speech to the incoming freshmen and their parents about my personal FBLA story and the importance of becoming involved in high school. I think that my speech really hit home for the viewers because they got to hear firsthand from a student about how becoming involved in FBLA has truly opened many doors for me and that they too could become could have those opportunities by com becoming involved. One of the other activities that my local chapter likes to host is a new member lunch. We will invite any students who are interested in learning more about FBLA or joining to a lunch provided by our local chapter. In the past, we have ordered sub platters from our local subway and also ordered cakes for our members to enjoy. While eating lunch, our local chapter president will give a brief presentation highlighting all of the opportunities and fun activities that our members can get to be a part of in Seymour FBLA. As you can see, there are many routes for back to school activities. High energy activities such as Seymour's Messy Twister are great ways to get students involved while having fun. It is also important to include information activities as well at the beginning of the school year, such as my school's club and organization fair. On behalf of your Wisconsin FBLA state officer team, we would like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to tune into our first webinar. You are all making great progress to connect this year. And we'll uh, transition into some questions in just a, a short moment. Uh, I also um, just want to take a moment to uh, reach out to uh, any of our uh, new or reactivated chapters that may be uh, joining us uh, this evening or viewing this uh, broadcast um, as a recorded session. Uh, I would, in particular, uh, for our new and reactivated chapters, uh, we're continuing a program as an initiative for, for Wisconsin FBLA, uh, again, with support uh, from our Wisconsin FBLA PBL Foundation that any newer reactivated chapters that register 10 members will have the opportunity to uh, receive $100 from our foundation. And so the key part for our new and reactivated chapters are to uh, make sure that you activate your chapter and then again register your members through the national uh, membership database system. And uh, from there I, I follow up with our foundation and, and send your chapter a, a check for $100. Uh, that is a, a great uh, kind of startup uh, set of funds to help you um, achieve and accomplish some of the activities that the, the ladies this evening talked about as far as some of the back to school activities. And so our foundation members recall some of those pizza parties or subs uh, that were dropped off or even donuts that were uh, brought in uh, to help recruit and, and encourage new members to attend. Uh, so very excited to uh, again continue that initiative. So uh, we'll take a moment for some additional questions at this uh, point in time. I know that um, we have had a few viewers online and uh, any questions in regards to local chapter officer positions or back to school activities are certainly welcome at this point. So I will kind of defer back to uh, Ms. Grossel and, and see if there's uh, any questions that have come in at this time. I am pleased to say that we do have uh, a question from uh, one of our viewers today. Uh, the viewer is from Oconto Falls and the question that they have for our officer team is says, um, what about an events coordinator or fundraising chair? Are these office group positions that a local chapter officer could potentially have? You're muted. All right, I can take this question. So like I said earlier, some chapters will have more or less officer positions depending on their needs. So like my chapter has a community service officer. So they're in charge of all of our community service events that we will participate in throughout the year. Um, so like your question about the fundraising officer, that is a great officer position to have someone step up to and take so you can start to raise funds for your local chapter. That is currently the one question that we do have available to us uh, in the question and answer session. We are certainly going to be able to stay on here and, and see if we have any other of our, of our viewers that are going to be interested in um, submitting some question to us either about officer roles 
um, officer training or anything they may have that may come up, um, or anything about recruiting our new members for getting them excited and involved with FBLA. Um, but right now we don't have any other questions. Um, Sydney, do you want to refer back to our surveys? Just give us some ideas of what we can do for the survey, and um, then we can see if more questions come in before we leave. All right, so please take time now to complete the Wisconsin FBLA survey. All entries will be placed into a random drawing for four Visa gift cards. Please complete your survey before 11.30 tonight in order to be entered into the drawing. Remember, only individuals from Wisconsin are eligible to win prizes. Again, thank you for tuning in to tonight's webinar and connecting more with your Wisconsin FBLA State Officer Team. We're going to go ahead and leave up that URL for people to go ahead and complete, but we did get another question um, from a student that is watching from O'Connell Falls. Um, the question, Sydney, um, it specifically says, um, Sydney, is it difficult to get kids to come to, a to the lunch meeting? I know we sometimes struggle to compete with students who like to go off campus for lunch. Okay, so one thing that my school likes to do, our, our chapter, we like to advertise it in advance and hang it up in the hallway on lockers and above lockers as well. So just kind of grabbing in students and saying like, hey, yeah, we're going to have Subway subs so you don't have to go spend money on your lunch as well. And we plus, we'll have ice cream cake as well. So great for all of you people with sweet tooths. And I'll also uh, sh share, uh, kind of looking back to some of my um, experiences as a local chapter advisor in the Madison area, uh, many times we had businesses that were willing to um, provide a lunch for our FBLA members and, and help support our, our members. So for those students that uh, wanted to go off campus, uh, oftentimes uh, we would um, work with uh, a Noodles and Company or an Applebee's, uh, some promos, I guess, for a couple companies that uh, were very gracious to us, uh, again, to host our FBLA, FBLA members to come out and, and kind of have some of those new orientation meetings. And oftentimes we saw other students that were at those locations and suddenly they wanted to come over and see what was going on. Great. I don't know, um, Hattie, if you have any experience with Open Campus at, in Wanakee. Yes. So at my chapter, we would announce it over the loudspeaker the week of the event so students could hear it while they were supposed to be quiet during class. So that really did bring in a lot more students because they were required to hear it and not just read it off of the lockers as well. Um, we can uh, still take a couple more questions. We don't have any right now. Just as a reminder for our viewers, uh, you will want to type in that shortened URL of goo.gl. Uh, slash and the upper and lowercase letters do matter so you want to make sure you have a capital D, lowercase g, lowercase d, a capital Q, a 4 and an E. That will take you to a Google form that you will submit. Um, you got to make sure that you put in some of your advisor information on there because uh, you will find that this uh, Visa gift card uh, for the four lucky winners that are drawn for tonight are going to be, the gift card will be, moved, be mailed to their school advisor and their advisor will then distribute it. And we can't say enough um, about to our FBLA Foundation for helping us to be able to contribute these Visa gift cards for our members that are going through and um, completing these forms tonight. I will also share that uh, reminder to uh, some of our, our chapters that uh, we do have on our Wisconsin FBLA uh, homepage, a local chapter contact survey. I uh, would really uh, like to encourage our local chapter members, uh, in particular our advisors and, and local chapter officers, to complete that contact survey. Uh, that's a very crucial part of working with our officer team to bridge that connection between our leadership at the state level and the leadership at the local chapter level. Uh, we know as the school year begins, oftentimes we have transitions with uh, advisor staffing, and so we know that uh, we need to update our records, and our local chapter survey certainly helps to stay connected to our advisors, uh, but we also hope to stay connected to our local chapter officers. 
And so we do ask for uh, some information about who your officers are going to be for the upcoming year, as well as their contact information. Um, I know that uh, our officer team is uh, drafting our first uh, Wisconsin uh, FBLA e-bulletin that will be coming out shortly uh, by email to a lot of our um, uh, members and, and advisors and schools that we have on our contact and distribution list. So very excited to uh, uh, again promote some upcoming information and so again please help us out by completing that local chapter uh, contact survey that's available in the What's New area on the Wisconsin FBLA homepage. I uh, also want to just to mention that I know our national office as well as our Wisconsin office is working on the revised competitive event uh, guidebook as well as chapter management handbook that will have a lot of your uh, information that will help guide uh, your work uh, throughout the year. Uh, we anticipate that those um, materials will be available uh, by the start of school year. Uh, do not have uh, yet a release date for those, uh, but we'll make sure that we distribute that information and post it on our website as soon as it is available to our chapters. Taking a look, I um, uh, just wanted to let the rest of our um, team know that we uh, do not currently have any additional questions in our question and answer session, um, but this is going to be the layout and format for all of our webinars that we do have planned for this school year. Uh, Sid, can you tell us the, the planned expectation schedule of our webinars for the rest of the school year? Yes, I can. So our next one will be in October. And the topic will be the topic for our October webinar will be on it's opening it's slow of course yeah. for us. <laughs> it'll be on sharing the program of work that your state officer team has created at state officer training choosing competitive events and oops my bad sorry Actually, the October webinar is on the Business Achievement Awards and running for state or national office. So that is a great webinar for members to tune in and learn more about the BAAs and what it's all about and also to get some tips and tricks from people who have run for state office before. Our December webinar is on choosing competitive events and also how to prepare for those events. And then our February webinar the date is still up in the air, but it will be on the March of Dimes and a reminder about recognition awards that you can earn at our State Leadership Conference in April in La Crosse. So things like Who's Who, Outstanding Advisor, Outstanding Chapter, Gold Seal, all of that. And then in March, our last webinar for the year will be on preparation for SLC in La Crosse. And then the opportunities that are available after FBLA for our college students that will be there that are available in PBL. We do have some exciting events that are also coming up on our Wisconsin FBLA calendar so we certainly encourage our chapters to not only uh, connect with us on our webinars but also hopefully uh, come visit and, and meet our officer team and, and work on uh, your chapter development and, and your membership growth over the, the course of the fall. Our officer teams will be present at the fall leadership labs that will be held in three le different locations around the state of Wisconsin. Uh, our officer teams will be uh, located, uh, those, me, the fall leadership labs will be uh, located in Madison on October 14th. Uh, we'll be in Eau Claire on October 15th. We'll travel over to Appleton on October 16th. And so those one day leadership labs are an oppor a great opportunity uh, for a lot of our membership who are um, at that very entry level uh, learning more about FBLA opportunities that exist within FBLA. Uh, I know our officer team has been working on workshop development and we'll have a, a fantastic keynote speaker uh, that will be present for those events. Uh, we will also um, continue uh, our fall conferencing um, activities and events uh, as we transition on to November, uh, we have a Wisconsin FBLA Fall Leadership Conference, which is actually a two-day event on November 16th and 17th. Uh, we will be uh, hosting that event at the Madison Marriott West, and so uh, we are excited to have a, a number of activities that will be uh, available to our members in attendance. Uh, we will have a variety of tours that will be highlighted 
in the Madison area. Uh, so a great opportunity for your students to come and explore some of our top uh, business uh, and IT uh, uh, industries that uh, are welcoming of our students to come and explore the career opportunities that exist. And, and certainly you have a lot of leadership activities and, and uh, engagement activities for our members uh, to really pursue uh, all the experiences and opportunities available through Wisconsin FBLA. Uh, it's a great opportunity for our members to launch their uh, their year and uh, set themselves up for success as they continue on into the spring season. So with that, uh, I certainly want to uh, extend some appreciation out to our fantastic officers who uh, launched this first uh, experience for Wisconsin FBLA, definitely a, a landmark uh, opportunity. And so uh, I'm going to extend to everybody that's out there listening, uh, give the ladies a, a hand of applause and, and well done. So uh, nice job, ladies, and, and appreciate all the te technical support uh, from our um, uh, advisor, Ms. Grassel, who is uh, moderating uh, the webinar tonight as well. So with that, I want to remind uh, our viewers and, and members that are online to make sure that uh, you complete the um, survey link that is available on the screen, I believe, at the moment. Um, want to make sure that uh, all entries uh, that uh, or in individuals who are interested in uh, being placed into a random drawing for the four Visa gift cards, uh, make sure you complete your survey by 11 p.m. tonight. So we'll give you a little bit of time. If you can't do it right now, that's fine. Go have some dinner. Uh, enjoy the beautiful evening. But uh, as you come back to your computer tonight, uh, please make sure you complete that survey as everybody that uh, completes the survey will be again entered into that drawing. And remember, only individuals uh, from Wisconsin are eligible to win prizes. Uh, we do, again, need to make sure that you uh, complete that information with your name and your school uh, that's required in that survey. So again, thank you for tuning in tonight and connecting more with Wisconsin FBLA and your state officer team. Uh, any final comments? All right. I think that's a wrap. All right, so again, thank you for tuning in tonight and connecting more with your Wisconsin FBLA State Officer Team.